So I wanted to make a video on my hot tools because there's something I have to tell you about this product right here that I bought and I spent so much money on. It was like 130 or 100 and something, right? And you guys know the case styler. You've seen it. Um, after I bought this, I know a lot of girls said they bought it because of me. I was like, oh my god. You know, first I was like, I love it. Second time, the paint chips off. And a third time, my hair doesn't curl no I mean, my hair doesn't go back too curly. It's just... I don't know, I am like pretty upset because of this and supposedly it was supposed to be the greatest thing out there for me because I was like, my hair has never been this silky and smooth and straight and in the humid humidity, I went outside one, I went outside one day and it was raining. I had water coming down on me, my hair was still not frizzy or anything so I was like, oh my god, I love this. And then I jump in the shower, right, and my hair still straight like this straight like this like not f a big slight curl there's no more curls and if you guys look at my previous videos my curls are like like not the tightest curls but i have some curl def pretty good curl definition in my hair and it was like you know if i don't if i don't um do anything to my hair it goes like this big because it's that curly and i just loved my curls you know i freaking love them and now I don't have curly hair anymore. I have like straight hair with a bent to it and I'm just pretty upset because of that and I know maybe it was my fault because I straightened out my hair like in like three, 320 degree and I don't know degree heat whatever 320 degrees and yeah I'm upset because of that so I don't know if you guys have a different opinion on the case styler um, I even tried scrunching my hair or just like putting a curl, like a scrunching gel and curling it and diffusing it and it just doesn't go back to curly and I don't know what to do. I'm pretty upset and yeah, I haven't used it. I used this one to straighten out my hair this time and I think I should not straighten out my hair but for a while at least. I don't know if it just burned the actual texture but I don't know. And okay so I don't have a lot of good curling irons and this one I got it at a drugstore like either Walgreens or I think I got it at Walmart though it's Revlon I don't know the size it's maybe like an inch or something like an inch it's Revlon I know you guys were wondering what it was and this thing doesn't give me no info on it just look at it it's really good it makes your curls really pretty and it it does heat up to a good um well it says the highest degree here is 30 not 30 degrees the highest heat temperature number wise is 30 so it gets pretty um it gets pretty hot but it doesn't burn your hair like my case styler and um it's good it's one of my favorites actually um i think it's maybe less than an inch might be like no i think this is an inch actually because this one right here, it's another one of my favorites, and it's a good brand that I really like. I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply, and it's the brand is Helen of Troy. Helen of Troy right here. And I think this is an inch and a half. An inch and a half, and I really like it. It makes a little weird noise, but it's good. Um... And I really like it too because the handle is very thin, so all these buttons don't get in the way of like when I'm curling my hair. I like that one. And my first ever straightening iron, I bought it at home. It was a Revlon. I bought it a long time ago, like I was in sixth grade or something. And it completely it sucks so bad. But this is my second. No, this is my second. This is my third. This is my second um, straightening iron, and it's also by Helen of Troy. And when I bought it, I was in love with it. It was, it works really good. So, it was one of my faves. I don't know how much it was, but I got it at Sally's. It's Helena Troy. So, it's also one of those. And then, I got this one at a drugstore. Uh, a drugstore. A Walmart. It's a Conair. And it doesn't work that well. It, gets your, it leaves your hair frizzy. And this one, actually, what it's supposed to do, you see these holes, they're vents. Because if you have wet hair, you can strain out your hair when it's wet with this one. 
I don't recommend it. I don't recommend using it with like your regular one when it's wet because you can fry your hair pretty bad. So this one, I don't know. It's supposed to be for wet hair, but my friend Ginger, I let her borrow this for like a whole year and she used it and her hair looked good. So I don't know. And then this one, I got it when I got back from Iraq. It's the uh, Coriolis Pro Straining Iron. No, yeah. I actually bought it when I got back from Iraq on my R&R, &R, when I still had a whole year left when I had to go back, and I took it to Iraq. I don't know why I even took it. I went back, and I don't know why I took it, because I never used it over there, and I just broke it. Like, this, it broke, and it doesn't work as well as my other one. It just still doesn't. So, Coriolis Pro, the guy told me it came, it came from Paris. But they actually sell it at the mall, just like things come from like other parts, like made in Mexico. Just like that, you know, they, the company is in Mexico, but they just ship it to the U.S. so you can sell it. So I was like, why are you telling me it's made in Paris? Like, it's a big deal, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's the Coriolis Pro. 1 out of 10, I give it like an 8. Um, you need to have something in your hair so it doesn't get frizzy because this doesn't lock in moisture and it doesn't prevent like frizziness and stuff like that. And then this one came from a thrift store for like two dollars or like I don't know. And it's the Conair, a big ass fat. And I seen it, I was like, oh my god, it, you know, it's so huge. I don't have a huge one like that. And um, I turned it on, and then it gets hot, but it. I mean, it doesn't get hot enough to make really pretty curls. Well, you know what? I won't tell you that it's bad until I actually try it in. Try it again and plug it in. Because, I don't know. Maybe it's just I was impatient. Impatient. And then I got all these by Revlon. And they came in a set. Ouch. They came in a set. It was this one. I can't tell you the sizes, girls. I'm sorry all of these different sizes and they were like seven dollars for all of these so um yeah you could probably imagine the quality of these i don't know if that good i'm gonna plug all of them in and just try them on try them on my hair and then this one is also by revlon so pretty much as you can tell my hair products come from walmart hair things come from walmart or the mall or the tv or sally's beauty supply i don't half the cheat so I can't give you like because you guys have been asking me which one's better like is the cheat better than the case styler I don't know because I don't have it I couldn't give you an honest opinion and I mean I have really haven't heard anything about the cheat I hear a girls have a lot of girls have it and stuff like that I know they sell it at Ulta but I just um, I have this one and I have the case styler which is a mad at but I, I'm mad at it, but yeah, so those are my hair products, my hot tools, not hair products, hot tools, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it some like information, because I know some of you ooh, have been asking me like which ones do I use, and these are the ones I use, um, <clears throat> I don't use them all, which is a bad thing, I think I should start using them all, I think I should start doing my hair more, because I was never really into doing hair tutorials until like I came to YouTube, and I'm like, oh my god, that is so pretty, you know, all these hair tutorials, and so I decided to do my hair tutorials, so anyways, um, I hope you enjoy this, and yeah, bye.